Hey everybody, it's Lee Manning here. Hope you're having a great summer. Uh, almost had to turn on the AC today here in Ventura. That's pretty unusual for Ventura. Uh, but I wanted to update you. Uh, the numbers for June just came out, so let's take a look. Okay, so we're looking at Ventura County here, and this is the last year. So you can see in June of 2022, the median home price in Ventura County was 839500 And this uh, year in June, we've got 856000 just a tick higher. What's interesting about this to me, um, in April of last year, we had it up around 875 But this, kind of, this curve kind of coincides with the interest rates going up. So there was a little bit of probably a, a situation where people couldn't qualify for something that was 850, so they were buying 750, and the, some of the higher priced homes were sitting more, uh, what little inventory there was. But now, um, as we go into through summer here, we're climbing steadily again. I think the buyers have gone through the stages of grief over the interest rates and are shopping again. Let's take a look at active listings. That's the area where we're still having trouble. In July of last year, we had 1,750 homes on the market in Ventura County. And this last June this year, we only had 996. So you can see it's pretty tough to uh, find homes out there. It, uh, the supply and demand is such that there's a lot more buyers than there are homes. And let's look at the percentage of list price to sale price median average. Uh, last year we were at 100% and this year we're at 100%. So that's an indication that the agents are pricing homes accurately. The buyers agree. So we have no issues on that, which is another indication that although people are saying prices are too high, uh, the homes are still selling. So until that stops, uh, there's not going to be any decrease in pricing. and with the demand we have now, I think the prices are going to be stable. Well, that's Ventura County in a nutshell. One thing worth adding, at my office meeting this week, everyone was talking about how they've been noticing that more properties are falling out of escrow. I think we're looking at something like 20% of uh, properties are falling out of escrow before they finally sell. Uh, I think that's a result of buyers' expectations. They're, they're thinking, hey, if I'm going to pay $850,000 median price for a home, I don't want anything to be wrong with it. I don't want to have to put $50,000 into it when I'm done. So that's probably what they're doing is they're getting into escrow, finding out more information about the house, and backing out. And that's something we haven't seen for quite a while. So that bodes well for buyers. Uh, I think it just means sellers have to be more prepared on the front end and disclose more information. Uh, be uh, totally open about it. So as far as the market moving forward, I think that's going to be all about interest rates. And I don't think they're going to move fast in one way or the other, but if they do come down a bit, I think more buyers are going to jump into the pool. There'll be a bit more activity, more competition, and that may even cause prices to go up. Uh, so if you're thinking about buying Give us a call. Let's do it now. Uh, my wife and I work together. We just got four buyers in escrow in the last month and we know how to write the offers and, and get you what you want and work with the sellers. And if you're thinking about selling, we do that too. So give us a call. I'm at 805-232-3344 and I hope you're having a great summer and I hope you go to the beach and surf sometime soon. I, I go sailing myself, but hey. Sailing's great too. All right, talk to you guys later.